The High Road is dedicated to the men and women of the United States Armed Forces, past, present, and future. Meet Keith Warren. As a 30-year veteran of the outdoor industry and devoted conservationist, the original Texas angler and outdoor television icon has hunted across America and around the world. Showing you big game, educating outdoorsmen, and uniting all hunters. That's Keith Warren. And this is The High Road. Today is June the 1st and we are in Mandan, North Dakota and we're going to go on a, on a prairie dog shoot uh, therapy session today. And in order to shoot prairie dogs in North Dakota, you've got to have one of these. You've got to have a, a license and uh, we have picked up non-resident, non-game licenses and uh, you've got to have one. The limit up here is pretty stringent, um, there's no limit. So anybody from Louisiana would love it. Anybody from Pennsylvania would love it. Well, anybody watching the show has got to love it. No limit, and it's very good therapy. There's lots of cool stuff in this store. But there's one thing that I found last year that you cannot go prairie dog hunting in North Dakota without this. <sighs> If you haven't seen this in action, you really and truly, you don't have an idea what you're missing because this stuff right here will make any shooting experience very explosive. And later on in today's show, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. We gotta have some of this. So at Savage Arms, you know, we have Ron Coburn. This is not Ron Coburn. No. This is Ron Coburn's great grandfather. He looks pretty good for 150 years old. Not, not true. The <laughs> I, I'm Brian Herrick, and I run the sales and marketing in our office down in Suffield, Connecticut. Uh, that's the heart and soul of the company. And then up at Westfield, where they do the manufacturing, we would like to think of them as the bowels of the company. So here we are in North Dakota. We're actually here to hunt prairie dogs. Uh, it's uh, early part of June, in fact, it's just the beginning of June, so hopefully the grass is still down, still low. The dogs are going to be out. They will not be well educated. Uh, we've got some really good friends with us this time. We've got everyone who's shot before has done a little bit of prairie dog shooting, so they know what to expect. The prairie dogs don't know what to expect. That'll change today. Could have done something really bad there. I wouldn't do that. Well, what we're doing here is we're just unloading a few of the tables. We're going to let the crew get their rifle sighted in on a probably about a 200 acre prairie dog town. I'm going to jump on the four wheeler, head over to the big town, make sure we can get across with all the vehicles and shoot some sod puppies, have a good time. This is something we always do when we first get out here to shoot some prairie dogs. We want to make sure that the guns are on. Uh, so we're just simply sighting them in now, hitting some, uh, some of our favorite rocks out there. So we've gotten pretty well dialed in. At this point, we're ready to, uh, to shoot real live animals. So we're going to go at it and see how it goes. Good, Nias. To your right. You can line up on that one. The wind's blowing pretty hard to our right. And that's all it takes. Good one, excellent. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> Hit the dirt. Hit the left? Yep. Oh yeah, run the left. Running. Run the left. He popped up. He's running again. You want to go? Yep. He's going on top of the big mound. Take him. Well, prairie dogs don't like rain showers, and here we go, a little rain shower come through. Got a, got a little bit of shooting in, a lot of prairie dogs dead out there right now, but we're going to wait this little shower out and keep shooting some more sod puppies. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Gamma Precision Air Rifles, Glock, Oil Field Camo, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, Beyond 99%. And Heartcraft Hunting Products. Watch the High Road in HD at KeithWarren.net. So, what what sort of attractions do y'all have for people? Like, if somebody wanted to visit Sulfridge, would they be here? What what would they be doing? Either drinking or shooting prairie dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Think about this, you could not do this in any other country in the entire world, but right here in America. What we're gonna do here, we shot this place out pretty well, probably took about 40, 50 dogs out of this little area. It's about a mile and a half prairie dog town here, and it's probably a mile wide. We're just going to keep on moving along, keep on shooting some more prairie dogs here and make sure we grab our beverages too. The product that we're using today, this is a Model 12 and the caliber is 22250. Uh, this is the long range precision uh, varmint rifle, if you will, target rifle. And I will put this rifle up against, it's a factory rifle, there's nothing been changed on this at all, but I'll put this rifle up against any custom made rifle out there as far as accuracy, dependability, uh, performance overall, and most important, value. Uh, it has a large, oversized bolt handle on the right-hand side. So as you come down on to the stocking, looking through it, you can operate it very easily with your right hand. You'll notice on the left-hand side it has a port. That's where you load it. It does not have a magazine. You load the cartridge to the left side. Now, Savage is the only mass manufacturer that I know of that produces a rifle like this with a right bolt left load. Custom manufacturers do that, but Savage does that on a standard gun. So on this model, what you have, you're able to load it, completely fire it, open it up, and put another cartridge in without ever raising your head off the scope, without ever uh, losing your target, if you will. Another thing that this gun has on it, it has an AccuTrigger. This is the AccuTrigger. It's actually the target AccuTrigger. Uh, Savage has two different kinds of AccuTriggers, and on standard rifles, they have the standard AccuTrigger, but on their Varmint series, if you see a red AccuTrigger, 
that's going to be the lighter poundage AccuTrigger. Uh, this has, the stock is a HS Precision stock and you're not going to beat that with a stick. It's absolutely wonderful. It's a beautiful combination here. You'll notice it's completely stainless steel and the barrel, the barrel is a one inch piece of stainless steel that is fluted and we have shot these rifles literally hundreds and hundreds of times, if not thousands of times on this hunt. Uh, there's something to point out. This big barrel, it takes a long time to heat up. And the one thing that you don't want to do with rifles is overheat the barrel, because when you do that, uh, it, can, it can affect the zero. Uh, I will tell you this, I'm blown away because in certain cases on this trip, we've shot literally sat down and shot box after box after box of ammunition through these barrels, and they're hotter than all get out. And it hadn't changed zero at all. We still hit exactly where we want to hit. Uh, the one thing also to point out, and I don't really recommend this for, for, well, even for these rifles, but this is a field test. This is what we're doing. These rifles, with thousands of rounds put through them, have never even had a patch run through them. I mean, imagine that. I mean, a rifle, most people say, well, they clean the rifle after every time they go to the field, and that's a good idea if that's what you want to do. But this rifle here has had several thousand rounds put through it. It's never been cleaned, and it still hits the same every single time. It's the Savage Model 12 Long Range Varmint Rifle, and uh, I'm telling you what, once you shoot it, you'll fall in love, and you'll never spend that money that you're thinking about spending on a custom rifle again. I've had a, somebody out there listening to me this whole time. I'm fixing it. Let him know what I've been talking about. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Reconix Game Cameras, Savage Arms, Keith Warren's Texas Hidden Springs Ranch, the best value in Texas trophy deer hunting, Grizzly Cartridge Company, and Jardin Consumer Solutions, makers of the Game Saver. Uh, Clayton Peterson, I'm the National Rifle Association field rep for North and South Dakota out here. I know Scott real well and we come out to help him uh, with you guys and serve you a great meal on behalf of the National Rifle Association. We're going to give you some great South Dakota home raised beef right here and some brats. We're going to have a great meal. We've got homemade macaroni salad, brownies and everything. So I hope you guys enjoy. My name is Michael Holly. I'm with Savage Arms, the National Sales Manager. Been with the company for uh, about six months. We're out here shooting some prairie dogs in beautiful uh, North Dakota. So here we are, we're taking a break. Uh, at the benefit of Clayton Peterson, yeah. he's actually from the NRA. He does a lot of work for them, fundraising. Helped us out last year. Uh, give us a field lunch, just like this, perfect. Plenty to eat, uh, plenty of nutrition. Uh, a little bit of rain came in just before lunch, uh, so this is a good time for us to stop and relax. And Think about what we're going to do all this afternoon. We've got a lot of ammunition, plenty of guns, plenty of dogs out there. We just got to go get into the main town uh, and good friends to share this time with us. So I'm really looking forward to the rest of the day. Uh oh, the sun's out. We're done eating lunch and it's time to kill some dogs. Okay, one thing we do have here, dogs and ammo. All right, so let's just keep shooting. A Couple of things I want to point out. If you're gonna go on a prairie dog shoot, um, two things you must have with you. Uh, hearing protection is the first thing. If you don't have good hearing protection, uh, people go deaf one shot at a time. So make sure you have good hearing protection. Next thing is, you'll notice uh, everybody's got really good optics and the reason why they've got a good set of binoculars. Uh, reason for that is that the prairie dogs, some of them can be close, heck yeah, and anybody can see them, but when they get out there at two, three, four hundred yards, you need a good pair of opti optics to be able to actually see out there and be able to work as a team with your shooter uh, and, and kind of dial them in on exactly where the dog is. Uh, also, if the shooter happens to miss, then you can kind of walk them in and say, no, aim a couple more feet this way or that way, get them on target. So have hearing protection 
and a good set of optics, you're good to go. What I like about shooting prairie dogs the most, you know, a lot of people may think that uh, it looks like too much fun. Well, it, it's impossible to have too much fun, especially with a gun. This is so fun, it teaches you how to be a better shot, period. Uh, I mean, I, I'm a big believer in trying to learn something every time you go out. And, and I mean, Ron, he shot 100,000 rounds. I mean, tons of ammunition he's gone through. And he learns every time he goes out. And the deal is, there's teamwork. I mean, we're able to actually pick a dog out on the hillside and then watch the wind. And I mean, the wind is, is the big variable here. The distance, we pretty much know how far it is and know how far the bullet's gonna drop. But with the wind, well, the wind can change. And it can change two or three times between here and the target. So you gotta compensate for the wind. You need a spotter and lots of ammo. They're all together in two and a half days here, five shooters. We've probably killed well over a thousand, maybe 1,500 so far, and uh, we're not done yet. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Striker Crossbows, Half Power Polaris, Burt Coyotes Luminoc and Luminaris, Shadow Hunter, your total comfort hunting blind, Elevators, your easy way up, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center. Beyond 99%. And BSA Optics. Off Power Polaris presents Viewer Feedback. Here's a good one. It comes to me from uh, Jeannie Franklin, and she is from Delaware. It says, Dear Chief Redneck Sir, I was YouTube surfing when I came across your killing adventures. I'm not a hunter, but can support hunting when hunters eat what they shoot. I know you massacre prairie dogs, and certainly you don't eat them, do you? Certainly not. How can you defend your actions? Jenny Franklin, I defend my actions by saying, first off, thank you for taking the time to watch our videos on YouTube, and, and also to take the time to write to me. That, that means a lot to me. You deserve an answer, and everybody who writes to us gets an answer. Um, the way that I justify killing prairie dogs is that Yes, uh, we don't eat prairie dogs, but other hunters do. And what I mean by that is badgers and hawks, owls, uh, um, coyotes, bobcats, all kinds of hunters. They may be four-legged hunters, but they're hunters still. They uh, clean up the mess when we're done. Uh, we're doing the landowners a service, and, uh, and it's a lot of fun. So I can see how it may offend some people, and you may think that we're not eating them, and you're right. but somebody's eating them. So Jenny Franklin from Delaware, I sincerely thank you for taking the time to write to me and to watch this on video. Uh, you can watch hundreds of our videos on YouTube or you can go right to our website and watch them there. And if you've got a question or comment about the show or videos that you see on YouTube, write to me and I promise you, we'll get back with you. Jenny, that's a good email, thanks. If you have any questions or comments about the program, you can shoot me an email right off of my website at keithwarren.net. And I'd also like to ask you to become a fan on Facebook. And if you've ever thought about purchasing a Polaris, give my friends over at Hoff Power Polaris a call and you'll find out how come Hoff Power Polaris is one of the top Polaris dealers in the country. Part of our festivities at the uh, annual prairie dog shoot up here in uh, North Dakota, we're going to be shooting uh, some tannonite targets down here at about 500 yards. I'm going to be leading off and really my sole objective, my sole objective is to simply do it better than Keith. Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, because you're editing. <laughs>
<laughs> these are these are unbelievable rifles. Unbelievable rifles. And you're good an rifles, coach. good ammunition, good shooters, great day to do it on. What can I say? Okay. I'll be signing autographs later tonight. I, I want one. I want one. <laughs> okay.